Coming up next, it's a UFC Bantamweight Division fight. Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab right hand, left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. You can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem at Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, a referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. <laughs> That's a great division. If you see folks fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 131 pounds. Fighting out of London, England, Assa. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds, fighting at Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. Fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out. Right, striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. Nice strike. there as he blocks the shot. Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Lee. Oh, good sequence there. The right hand followed by the left. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. 
He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Back to the jab now, no good. Big kick lands. And he landed the right hand there. Lee's hook to the body there is blocked. Shot looked pretty good, but ultimately the defense was there. Oh, you can hear the thwack from here as he lands another leg kick in DC. Now we're seeing visible damage as that leg starts to redden up. And now you start to see the damage. And now you start to see the limping of the opponent. Watch as he gets kicked in the leg, he's turning away. He can't even get any pressure on his front leg anymore. He is beat up. That leg has been tenderized by this young man. Nice punch by Lee. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Lee gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Big body kick land. Oh, how about this kicking game on full display tonight? Kicks back to back. Just truly mixing up the target. Sight to behold. Get him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Nice punch, man. Oh, wow, those leg kicks are already taking effect. Oh, man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you can see him drive his shit into his opponent. Now he lands the knee. I'm not sure his opponent saw that coming. Didn't see it coming because he does such a great job of just throwing. He doesn't have any tell when he's going to throw a knee. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Great punch landed with so much power. Right hand, it's no good. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. So after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets in. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. He loaded up there on that high kick. Oh, head kick attempt. Head movement prevented from landing. 
Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counters after blocking shots. Oh, that right hand is on point. Nice kick. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Oh, nice knee to the body, very nice. He understands that doing the body work will pay dividends the longer the fight goes. Connects with the right hand, pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Got him whip his hip into that kick. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, <laughs> if you're gonna sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut, that is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Effective punch there by Lee. Check that kick as well. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Now he gets back to range. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Gets touched by that kick to the body. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Big head kick lands. Oh, counters with a nicely timed uppercut. Spinning back All right, so in entertaining five minutes, let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are gonna be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're gonna see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. Punches, 
your kicks. I want to see you work. All right, here we go as our next round gets Good underway. Fight. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. He got the turnover in that kick. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. How about it? Went for the inside leg kick. Oh, man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. Nice head kick. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Kick to the body, that one blocked by the defense. Ooh, what a punch. Another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. Plus right hand is true. Oh, nice job to block the kick. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Strike there by Lee. Oh, he landed that knee to the midsection. Got to think his opponent's going to feel that one in the morning. And he's going to continue to throw that strike because he knows that his opponent can't take many of them. Right hand punch the clinch. Nice head kick. Oh, Superman punches good. You can tell he's been working on that. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Come on, man, I need more than one. Let's go. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find it all. That is, oh, man, this dude is good. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it, lighten up his opponent left and right. Ooh, what a punch. Man, look at the redness now, almost immediately on the right side of his body. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Lee. Right punches there. Hook shot attempt to the head here. Instead, it's blocked by Lee. Such a fast leg kick. Ooh, big shot lands. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. there to get that knee to the target. Really good knee. Nice job of driving it right to the target. Getting it to land. Exactly. Beautiful body kick lands right under the elbow. Just unable to quite find that reach. Oh, a huge block there. Wow, what a kick.
And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. A lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10 plus minutes of fighting. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Good punch. Roundhouse kick, and it lands. It lands, and even if you think you're blocking it, it really is still having an effect on your opponent. Way to hide that leg kick. Beautiful body kick. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Well, no surprises. He connects once again, and that looked like it landed right on that. Right on the cut. It's targeted it, right? He's looking. You can see him almost putting a laser beat on that cut and just putting his hands on it. It doesn't take much. He just keep making it split, showing his opponent that he has no mercy. Great punch. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Lee gets hit with that hook. He's got to be careful here. Punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop throwing. Oh, nice jab. Good combination there by Luke. Under three minutes remain in round four. Still nice body kick land. Lee gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Just missed with that right hand. Switching stances here. Two minutes remain in the round. What a body kick. Nice punch lands over the top. Relax, relax. Keep your hands up for me now. Another shot lands upstairs. He did so there. Nice leg kick. Lee's kick to the body is blocked. Pretty good right hand. He loaded up on that right hand, too. that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, 
that's a good right hand. Looking to land the leg kick now. If you take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Straight punch lands. Ten seconds to go. Right up the elbow. for the end of round four. Oh, the round is over and blood is just fauceting out of his cheek. That cheek has gotten out of control. Cut man can only do so much, and given the fact that that cut continues to be attacked by the opponent, if this thing gets any worse, they're gonna stop this fight. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only he's kicking right. just for feel, right. he's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, he will start to see it taking effect. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Right hook to the body. Digging kick. That leg. Big punch land. Blocks the shot. Nice jab there, champ. The jab is a lost art in mixed martial arts. Guys have found it, and they are fighting behind it real well. Just a slip there. Andy lands the knee to the body now. Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. Throws the right hand there. Whoa! Oh, good combination. Very efficient with his strikes tonight. Lee gets caught with that punch. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Inches right I'm there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. <laughs> Big kick lands. Well, this one is coming down to the wire. This has been so action-packed. I'm going to stand up and call the rest of this fight. I hope nobody is behind me. This has been insane. I mean, it's unbelievable that we've still been sitting the whole time. Multiple times, you want to jump out of your seat because these guys are putting on such a fantastic fight. Real sneaky body kick. Nice slip to avoid the left. Just missed with the left there. Lands with the kick there, no pad on that foot. No shit guard, he's taking all of that kick every time he throws it. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. Game of inches right there, Damn. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. That one snuck in. Nice strike. 90 seconds remain in the fight. Oh, hook shot blocked there by Lee. Just misses with the jab. Straight left counter is true. there with a punch. 
punch, so pretty good striking display by a muscle. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. One minute to go in the fight. Right hand on point. Nice body kick. Nice knee there, DC. Great job finding the opportunity to land that strike. 30 seconds now to go in the fight. Nice move and punch. Big body kick. 20 seconds now remain in the round. Big leg kick lands. Final seconds of this fight. What else can you say but what a fight? All right, so the fight goes the distance. Both guys had their moments, but there was a striking advantage, albeit slight, and perhaps that'll be enough for him to get his hand raised. It should be enough. I mean, when you watch the fight, you understand that you are watching two of the best mixed martial artists in the world. But it did look like he did just enough to earn a competitive decision. It looks like the official decision is in. Yes, here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. Judge one scores this contest, 48-47, awesome. Judge two scores it, 48-47, Lee. And judge three scores it, 48-47, with a winner by split decision, awesome. All right, so the judges have rendered their decision, and two of the three of them had it for him. So he gets it done by split decision tonight. You've been involved in some yeah. of those. There's nothing easy standing there waiting for the judges to render this. John, scorecards. it is the worst feeling in the world, not knowing if you did enough, right? Or not knowing what the judges were watching. So I know exactly what these guys are feeling as they walk to the center. You got your fingers crossed, you got your toes crossed, you got everything crossed, hoping that two judges saw it your way.